Among Us has come to Nintendo Switch and is on its way to Xbox consoles, but it won't be ready until sometime in 2021. Presumably it will eventually come to PlayStation, but no official announcement has been made. It's no surprise that the Switch port was ready first. When asked about getting the game on consoles, the tiny indie team in a sloth has made it clear that there are several big roadblocks to porting the game. These roadblocks don't apply to the Nintendo Switch. Not only has the Switch been specifically designed to be easy for indie developers to work on, but one of the Switch's most criticised limitations, its lack of voice chat, actually made it easier to develop an Among Us port for the console. First things first. Under the hood, Among Us is an absolute mess. This scrappy indie game was built in the Unity engine and was initially designed quickly for mobile before being ported to PC and heavily altered to run online. The game is such a nightmare to work on that Inner Sloth briefly planned to give up entirely and create a sequel rather than try to fix what they already had. Said Inner Sloth, It really was not created to be this big. Because of this, it's extremely hard to add more things without breaking existing things. Frankly, it's terrifying to add in more things because the game is so fragile. Fixing this would require recreating core sections of Among Us, then making sure everything else still works on top. It's actually even harder than just making a new game. The team ultimately decided against starting from scratch, but getting Among Us to run smoothly on console is no small feat. Luckily, the Nintendo Switch was deliberately designed for just such a problem. While the Wii U was in development, Nintendo began changing its approach to console design, partnering with Unity to make sure that the console was as easy as possible to develop for. This continued into the Switch era, with Nintendo specifically courting indie teams who could make their games in Unity and then easily publish on the new console alongside other platforms such as PC and mobile. In 2017, a Unity spokesperson said, Unity has been providing developer support for Nintendo Switch since day one, and we're proud to report that more than 30% of games released on Switch to date are made with Unity. We continue to partner closely with Nintendo to optimise Unity on Switch, and are happy to see our developers finding great success on the system. While getting Among Us to run on Switch still wasn't a walk in the park, it was made a lot easier because of this close partnership between Nintendo and Unity. A game like Among Us would never have run comfortably on older Nintendo consoles before this partnership was forged. This is why the version of Among Us that runs on Switch is virtually identical to the version on PC and mobile. This is useful because not much needed to be changed. Getting Among Us to play on Xbox and PlayStation requires more drastic changes to the in-game chat system. When asked about a console port, programmer Forrest Willard said, it's something we started to talk about, but we'd have to write a system for quick comms. It'd basically be for randoms, like Rocket League. I don't know if we'd be able to implement console voice chat or not. Luckily for Inner Sloth, the Switch doesn't need a console voice chat system because the Switch doesn't allow voice chat. As such, Among Us can rely on the Nintendo Switch Online app, or players can just use Discord or other chat apps as this is how PC and mobile players have been playing the game from the start. It's interesting to think that one of the Switch's biggest drawbacks, its limited online communication, actually made life a lot easier for Inner Sloth importing Among Us to Switch. While other console ports are likely not far off, we can completely understand why the game came to Switch first. The moral of the story is that sometimes, your weaknesses can actually help you in the long run. Just as the Switch's lack of voice chat made it the perfect console for Among Us, you too should embrace your flaws. They make you unique. And if you ever feel like you don't fit in or you don't measure up to those around you, maybe all you need to do is find the right people who will appreciate you for who you are.